Okay, so here's a cool video that I wanted to make on this cool truck that I saw the other day. It's a Tacoma X Runner. Now, the reason I'm speaking in a microphone is because I filmed it and realized that my hand was stupidly over the microphone half the time and he couldn't understand me. So, bear with me. Um, the X Runner was a two wheel drive only street truck from Toyota back in the late 2000s to early 2010s. It was two wheel drive only with a limited slipper differential, which is pretty cool as well as it had a two inch lowering kit, as you can see in these pictures. Uh, as well, it also had the 18 inch alloy wheels with originally had sport performance tires on it, along with a body kit, a short throw six speed manual shifter, upgraded Bilstein shocks, double wishbone in the front, rear stabilizer bar, uh, as a whole bunch of cool stuff. It came in red, blue, or black. This one's black. You can see the X runner badge here, which is kind of a bummer that it's black because you can barely see that. The side exit exhaust you can see there with the body kit as well this one also has a tunnel cover which is uh, a nice little addition I think it looks a lot more sleek with that on especially in the X runner trim uh, the front hood also has a hood scoop on it as well it has the fog lights and this is the later generation so it gets the more aggressive front end um, as well you can see the front of it has the uh, lower valence lip on it so then you can see the interior is actually very similar to a normal x run or normal Tacoma. Just has the normal switches where you'd expect them. Has manual seats. Has the leather wrap wheel, the fog lights, the AC power for the bed. Traction off. You know you're going to want that with this thing. There you can see the 6-speed manual, which is the short throw edition of it. And the head unit because this is a later truck, so it actually got the head unit with the screen Toyota's earlier Entune apps. And yet there's the ash gray interior with the center console lid. That I'm not a fan of opening sideways like that. It's hard for the passenger to open up, but it is what it is. Now this is an access cab as they all were, so the rear seats are going to be a little tight. Um, it's really for short trips. That's it, basically. At least they have the sliding rear window to open. But you can see the aftermarket, not aftermarket, sorry, factory subwoofer which I think looks absolutely ridiculous, but hey, some people have different tastes, I suppose. And it's uh, it's quite tight down there, and it's got the uh, little storage cubbies underneath the seats as well, so that's pretty cool. Not bad for kids, not great for anyone else. In a pinch, it work, though. And there you can see the 18-inch alloy wheels. They have a little bit of curb rash in these ones. Owner drove it all through the winter. He actually said it did fine because it has the LSD on it, so here you can see the curb rash, unfortunately. And you can see the Ilstein shock and the stabilizer link right underneath where it says X. And look how low it is. It's crazy for a truck. There's the power outlet because it is a V6 still. They did not skimp on that. And then you have your little storage cubbies. And I think all Tacomas with the V6 at least had a bed liner because you need to have the storage cubby as a part of the bed liner unit. And of course the power tailgate is not an option and it's not damped either. But it is a seven or eight year old truck and there's a really hidden tire pressure reset good luck finding that in a pinch it's uh not exactly the most well thought out location for it but hey and you just copy out in there and the power comes the original four liter v6 uh but you could have gotten the supercharged version of it from toyota which was factory uh dealer installed it kept the warranty and it made 304 horsepower 332 pound feet of torque pretty cool not the quickest truck in the world, but it handles really well. And that's just the speedometer, um, an odometer. And a, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll try to make more videos like this. Maybe film it with actually speaking, not my hand over it. Catch you guys after.